As much as we all love Rocket League, sometimes we can't stop from wanting more from our favorite game. Let's hope someone at Psyonix is watching to help make some of these wishes come true. What's up guys? Welcome to another video. We're rolling with this month's sponsor, AOEAH.com. For cheap Rocket League items, make sure to check them out. The link is in the description down below. Use the promo code TVG for 6% off. This will help you get the items you want without paying full price. If you have a lot of items just laying around in your inventory, check out their website. Your items could be worth a lot more than you think. This is a legit site, guys. Go and check them out. Don't forget to use promo code TVG for 6% off. I'm Sam for Top Viral Gaming, and now let's get right into it. For years, Rocket League has established itself as a fun and enjoyable game to play with many friends across multiple platforms. Although most of the in-game features have improved significantly today, there are still many aspects of the game which continue to leave players with a lot to be desired with. With that said, we here at TVG have come up with a few things we want to see brought to the game. In today's video, these are 8 things we'd like to see next from Rocket League. Number 1. Improved Replay Management Rocket League is a fast-paced game which constantly pushes players to always be on the move around the field. This undoubtedly emphasizes the importance of utilizing the replay function to look back at some of those memorable moments during a match. Remember the first time you've dunked an aerial shot? Or jumped in on that last minute block to save your team? Replay videos are what you look back to, to savor those golden moments in the game. Imagine the frustration that you get when you've saved those important replays, only to have to sort through a long list of other replay videos to get that one specific file. This is only one of other small quirks of the replay feature which continue to annoy players even today. There are many possible ways to solve this issue, with Rocket League YouTuber Zamazi proposing one in the form of a data sorting or filter system to allow you to browse for the replay video easily. I for one would vouch for this too as I continue to have trouble keeping track of my wonder shots that I've saved all this while. Number 2. Search function for training packs The in-game training pack menu could also benefit from a search bar option. To date, there are possibly hundreds of custom training packs available in Rocket League for you to play with, but you will need to key in their specific download code to install them beforehand. With the game constantly refreshing the list of popular training packs almost every month, the only way for you to find a specific custom training pack is to search for the code online, before inputting it into the game later. Sounds like a stretch, doesn't it? You can definitely save all the trouble by easily keying in the name of the training pack, if a search option was made available within the game. Number 3. Training Pack Rating System Still in the topic of training packs, another useful feature which should be implemented is a rating system. Sometimes, you just want to browse over all the best custom training packs available and don't exactly have a specific training regime in mind. A hugely popular rating system could definitely help players keep track of which training pack is trending among the player base. Combine this with the search bar mentioned earlier, and you'll have a pleasant time looking for a new training setup to test yourself in. Number 4. Free play for extra modes Before I jump into this section, I acknowledge that players can definitely play the extra modes in private matches with friends. But if you're just looking to mess around with hoops and snow day like me, a free play session could definitely work wonders without the fuss of setting up a private match instead. Sometimes, you just want to experiment around the different mechanics of rumble and drop shot by yourself, before playing with other people online. After all, a laid back session around the unique arenas could definitely be a welcomed break from Rocket League's competitive nature. How many of you would like to see the changes I've mentioned so far be brought into the game? If you do, hit that like button to let us know you agree. We've got a few more things we'd like to see be brought into the game coming up, but if there's anything you'd personally like to see Rocket League do, let us know in the comments down below. Now, let's get on with our list. Number 5. Custom Chats Rocket League already has a robust chat system which allows you to customize your quick chat options on the fly. However, when you're trying to communicate something specific to your teammates, or just teasing them in general, a customizable text for you to preset into the chat could definitely go a long way. For instance, a simple right shoutout could confuse players between asking you to go cover the right flank, or the person himself is going there in your place. Still, these depend on the actual scenario itself. But using original texts like, I'm going right, could definitely shape the team game much better. Having an all-purpose voice chat available for cross-platform should definitely solve this problem. But due to the different setups in place between the various game consoles, customizing our own text should probably be the next best thing. Number 6. Toggle Different Ball Skins Now this is something which continues to boggle most players' minds, myself included. Launching Rocket League almost every day, the sight of the plain default ball becomes boring and stale very quickly. 
why not allow players to choose their preferred ball skin before starting a match instead? This may be a cosmetic preference for each player, and can also be omitted from ranked play if necessary. But the freedom to choose the ball type would certainly be a good feature to spice things up a little. Currently, only PC players are able to do this via mods with console players needing to stick with the common ball type for now. Hopefully, this will be introduced in an upcoming patch by Psyonix. But one can always dream, right? Number 7. Better AI for offline plays Let's face it, we all love to bully the opponent team every once in a while. This is even truer when you're under a heavy losing streak in competitive matchups. You just need to let off some steam somewhere else. That's where the bots come in. Or at least, that's what I play them for. Stress Relief Truthfully, the bots in the game provide an almost non-existent challenge for you to win, no matter which game mode you choose to play against them. Still, this kills off any enjoyable aspect of playing against the AI, after scoring that 10th goal in under 2 minutes. Don't get me wrong, the inclusion of AI bots is a great concept in Rocket League, but the execution is extremely poor, especially if you're more of an offline casual player looking to have some fun. I understand the complexities of programming the AI to be of the same skill level as a normal human player, but seeing that bots are already in the game, it is only natural that the best way forward is to upgrade the AI to better mimic other people's playing styles and tactics. Before we go on, we want to thank you guys for checking out this video. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and click or tap that bell to get notified about our latest videos. Also, hit that like button. This lets us know that you want to see more content just like this. Number 8. A Dedicated Season Mode Another point for the offline players out there? Give us a good season mode! Directly related to the need for better AI, a comprehensive season mode could also do the game some good. With the current AI level in the game, even on unfair difficulty, winning the season mode under any setting provides no sense of accomplishment or success whatsoever. From the lack of any real rewards for winning seasons, to the disappointing challenge offered by the computer, season mode is certainly in need of a massive shakeup from the ground up. Rocket League is an awesome game which caters to all players from every segment of the fanbase. So providing a proper offline experience should also be in their next big list of improvements too. It is no secret that Psyonix has unanimously succeeded in creating the best carball game to date. Or soccer, if that's what you prefer. Although many of the game's concepts and ideas have mostly been implemented correctly, certain nagging weaknesses can still be improved upon to create the best gameplay experience ever. With all the success that Rocket League has garnered throughout the past 5 years or so, it is only fitting that players would expect more from the game in the near future. If anything, this sets up a perfect benchmark for a potential Rocket League sequel to be made, although no concrete plans have been announced yet. Still, the idea of a new Rocket League 2 would surely lift the game's hype once more, don't you think? What do you believe should be included next in Rocket League? Tell us in the comments down below. I'm going to get out of here, but before I do, you guys should go and check out some of our other videos. Be sure to subscribe and turn on that bell to be notified about our latest videos. I'll see you guys later.